chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody, where we are saving the fitness industry from suffocating on its own BS. And today we're going to answer, or really think about, a question of you were posed, which is, why do inmates in prison get so jacked without drugs? And a lot of people talk about this at some point in their channel history, so I guess this is my stab at it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! But what I want to focus on first here is the framing of this question, because specifically at the end he says, how do they do this naturally or without PEDs? That is a faulty premise. A lot of people seem to think that life is a movie, right? It's just good and bad. The evil always loses against the happy good force, right? The cops always get the bad guys and it's just over and done with. That's not how life works, guys. Like, you don't think there are cops and prison guards and correctional officers involved in the drug trade in prison? Guys, police and criminals are the two types of people in closest proximity to drugs at any given moment. You don't think prison guards are gonna smuggle in some drugs to make some extra cash on the side? You don't think they're gonna let inmates do the same? It's a free-for-all out here, and you can read news stories to confirm this if you want, but just because somebody has on a badge doesn't mean there's some perfect little angel. And if you want proof of this, look at Kali Muscle. This guy was allegedly in jail for a number of years. He came out this big. You think he got that big naturally in prison? If you do, you are seriously delusional. So here's a scenario. Imagine there's a cop, and he gets called for some drug bust, he goes and arrests the guy, and he discovers that the guy is a steroid dealer. He's got a bunch of stuff stashed away that he's selling. But, let's say our cop in this example, he's into lifting and bodybuilding. You don't think the cop is gonna make a deal? He gets his gear on the down low in return, he petitions hard for the inmate who's giving it to him, he gets him out of jail sooner, he gets him a longer lunch break, more gym access in the prison, whatever the case is. And this also happens with pretty much every drug imaginable, you would think, especially more frequent stuff, right? Like weed, cocaine, opioids. You gotta think about this too. It's more than likely that a person who gets arrested, they probably get more access to drugs after they get arrested because they're surrounded by other inmates who also deal drugs. So the premise of this question is a bit faulty, but let's assume that our hypothetical prisoners, let's say this jail is totally clean, it's like Fort Knox, you can't get any drugs into it. Let's assume these prisoners are totally natty. Let's look at the kind of scheduling and the day-to-day -day operations of a prison and the inmates. Most prisoners, I would think, I've never been to jail myself, but I think they get three square meals a day. And we can look at this chart here from the Florida Department of Corrections I found online. Let's look at this menu here. We have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have options for 3,000 calories, 2,200 or 2,600. Let's look at breakfast. We have hard-boiled eggs. There's coffee. There are sugar substitutes. There's bread. There's potatoes. Look at lunch. There's taco meat. There's rice. There's beans. Dinner time, we've got cheese, pasta, salad. There's bread. I'm seeing some chicken right? Some beef, there's beans, there's vegetables, there's even some snacks. So while this might not exactly be the tastiest food, they're still getting calories every single day spaced out throughout the day. And 2,200 to 3,000 calories for the average size guy, you're not going to get huge from that. But that's enough, especially if you go around 3,000 calories. That's what I was eating whenever this channel started last summer, guys. And you can look at my physique here. You're not going to get huge from that, but you can get pretty lean and maintain a decent amount of muscle mass, especially if you have your base built. You can maintain that at about 3,000 calories. And even if you're an inmate who's never really exercised before, you can still make some newbie gains on 2,500 or 3,000 calories. You definitely can do that. So those level of calories, and again, we saw there's protein and carbs, vegetables, milk, all that stuff you're going to be able to get an anabolic response from that. Again, you're not going to get massive without PEDs, but you can definitely get that natural, lean, cut, calisthenic kind of boxer look. That is definitely achievable on this kind of diet. You're probably going to be able to be in the like 10 to 13% body fat range. And that range is going to have a defined chest, arms, shoulders, core for the majority of guys. You will appear jacked if you're at a lower body fat with some baseline muscle built. And that's going to lead us into the next point, is the training parameters these guys have access to. Now, I'm sure this is going to vary based on the prison. Some prisons probably only have little, like, calisthenics parks. Maybe nothing at all. You can only do push-ups and, like, dips and crunches in the cell. Some private prisons might have access to, like, actual barbells and dumbbells and benches. 
squat racks, legit training tools. Whatever the case is though, if you're eating around 3000 calories consistently, training consistently, no matter if you're doing free weights or just calisthenics, you're going to receive growth stimulus. And the thing too with a lot of these jails, this is perhaps the biggest point, these guys have nothing but time. They have nothing but time to train, to eat, and then recover. But before we continue, ladies and gentlemen, it's the algorithm. I mean, think about it. If you're a prisoner, aside from those three things and maybe some, what, mandatory, like, community service, maybe playing, like, poker or some games with your other inmates, some pickup basketball or something, what are you doing all day? There's nothing to do. I mean, these guys really, if you think about it, some of these prisoners that are into lifting, they live the lifestyle hardcore. Eat, sleep, train, repeat. That's literally their life, right? The entire point of prison is to make you go crazy in isolation, being bored, so you don't commit the crime again. We, a lot of us lifters, do this ourselves without being in jail. We just eat and go to the gym and go to work and go home and just do it over and over again. I kind of do that myself a lot. So in a way, we're all kind of in our own mental prison with the gym, voluntarily, because this lifestyle is great. I really do enjoy it. But you know what I mean, right? And if you are a prisoner too, you don't have to deal with potential wife, girlfriend, kids, life circumstances. Like there's really nothing in your way. You're just stuck in the jail. So theoretically, a lot of these guys could probably sleep for what? Eight, nine, 10 hours a day? work out two hours a day, they get their three square meals, rinse, repeat, of course they're gonna get progress. Again, they're not gonna get that huge. They might look big because they're lean and cut up with a good upper body. But if they do this naturally, they can definitely attain a pretty solid physique. And like I said at the beginning too, you cannot assume that all these prisoners are natural inherently. That's a faulty assumption. So if you see really, really jack prisoners, you know, these guys that do only push-ups and dips and some squats and they're just absolutely massive, like 250 pounds, yeah, they're probably on PEDs, pretty safe to assume that, but that's really it, guys. So prison might not seem like an ideal time or place to build muscle, but whenever you actually break down the factors and look at what's really going on, it's really one of the best circumstances, especially for guys who don't have the discipline or like the drive to do it outside of jail as a free man. But this has been it, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments and thoughts down below. Tell me what you want to see next. Like, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.